This is L3's next generation aiming laser. This is their newest, newest iteration of laser. So we'll start out. We've got low power IR. One thing to note, which is nice on the UHP and on the PEC-15 as a program setting that we mentioned that um, is to program the illuminator to do strobe functions, which is stupid shit that no one uses. So on the Ingall, that has been eliminated. So there is no wasted click or setting on the actual unit, which is nice for trying to run the unit fast. So here we've got 100 yard berm, white target, berm, steel. This is low power. Now we've got low power illuminator and laser. And this does have a divergence adjustment. It's actually not as, uh, and you'll notice we haven't we haven't zeroed this particular model, so um, you'll notice that the laser is not exactly in the center of the illuminator. But um, for intents and purposes of showing you guys what this looks like, you can see how the illuminator changes. One thing about the Ingall is uh, the divergence. We would definitely like it to be a little little wider, but very very clean illuminator and definitely very usable. However, this is a this is a full moon. Uh, so you'll notice it's really bright. So we've definitely got to kind of tone it in a little bit to still pick it up well at 100 yards, but definitely very usable and uh, definitely very clean. One thing with these next generation aiming lasers is, like we mentioned before, the um, the PEC 15s and the old gen stuff is an edge emitting laser diode. These are actually a center emitting laser diode, which makes it a whole lot cleaner. Um, so this is dual low, 100 yards. Kicking it up, we've got full power laser. Again, bloom blooms out like other full power lasers, not very useful other than if you're going, this is 100, that's 200, and that's 300. Now we've got illuminator only. So this full power on the on the Ingall is a very, very nice illuminator. You can see it's it's very bright, very clean. We can tone it in well, and that's Full divergence to tighter. Um, one thing you will notice with the full power output, you definitely have a wider divergence just because you're able to pick up the IR because you've got a lot more juice behind that versus on the low power, uh, the, the edges of the illuminator start to um, start to disappear depending on lighting conditions. But that is illuminator only, and you can see 100 yards. 200 yards and 300 yards that is the tightest it can be but very very clean very very usable kicking it up so this is full power illuminator full power laser 100 yards We've got white paper target berm and steel target with the output of the illuminator and the full power this is definitely usable to aim at 100 yards. Um, we can kick it down even to 50 right there. And even though it's a little bright though, than we would like, uh, it's still very usable because the illuminator washes out a lot of the bloom. Um, so definitely definitely an improvement over old, old gen lasers like the UHP and the uh, PEC-15. Um, definitely very clean, definitely very usable. Um, but those are your IR settings on the on the end goal. We'll go back through them. This is dual high, illuminator on high only, full power laser only, dual pointer and illuminator. And you'll see how, remember where we were talking about it doesn't look like you've got the adjustment. That's just because the moon is actually starting to wash that out, which on nights like tonight, it is nice to have that, that full power. Um, we can actually see if we can get it to uh, show you guys on camera, but there's actually a deer out there that we can try to focus the illuminator on. There's a deer. What's up, deer? Hey, Bambi. Bambi's getting some, some Gucci IR thrown at her right now. But there you go. There's the end goal.